So it's Cherry Wood Road tonight for us. First round FA Cup replay between Farnborough and Brentford. Live here on Sky Sports. His win over Bromsgrove with a sore knee, but he's sufficiently fit to start. And Keith Day, who sat out the game at Brentford, has also recovered to take his place alongside Dean Coney in the centre of defence. Senior Day and Coney, all with bags of Football League experience, along with Steve Baker, who played in an FA Cup quarter-final for Southampton. Though the real veteran is, as you've heard, 40-year-old left-back Keith Baker. Typical of Brentford's luck this season that Nicky Forster, their England under-21 striker, tore knee ligaments in the final moments of the first match with Farnborough. But Robert Taylor, Forster's prolific partner last season, has recovered from a fractured cheekbone. And defender Barry Ashby is available again after suspension. So 19-year-old David McGee moves from centre-back to striker tonight. It is a very young Brentford side, a point emphasised by the age of their scorer in that initial tie, 17-year-old Marcus Bent. Well, Farnborough trying to reach the second round for only the second time in their history. To do so, they have to knock out a football league club for only the second time in their history. Brentford would have been waiting until round three if they clinched the promotion that they got so close to in May. They've been nothing like the same side since. Brentford could be on the edge of an embarrassing experience tonight. There'll be no complaints from Brentford Andy about the quality of the playing surface. No, it's, it's a little bit lumpy, man, but what they've done sensibly is they've left the grass a little bit long, so I don't expect to see the, the ball bobbling about too much. So away we go. Has to be a result tonight, of course. Whether it takes 90 minutes or extra time or even penalties. Keith Baker, the British Airways steward, who was up at 4.30 this morning. He was doing the shuttle to Manchester, and he flies to Lyon tomorrow. I said he got it wrong. Lyon next week, I mean, first. Oh, you you McGee. Taylor got a touch. Martin quickly on the scene. Here's Bent. Here goes McGee. sign of the arm being raised the indirect free kick against Martin Granger the wall is strong it needed to be Lee Harvey coming in what's Harlow two in the centre midfield for Founder Harlow going on rather carried away with the surge forward and he is struggling McGee and Smith deflected oh the goalkeeper Seems to have it at a comfortable height. It... Hutchings. Martin, around the outside again. His best position so far. Bent doing the retrieving. Granger hooking it in. McGee is there. Oh, it's a terrific header. And Mackenzie went all the way to keep it out. Super David header. McGee. Super header. He didn't portray any inexperience there. This boot is quick. This is Robson. Lining up the shot. But that is showing his potential again. Well, it wasn't the worst ball I've seen played in. <laughs> Martin. Taylor. Oh, it's set up nicely for the body. It hits Steve Baker. Headed away by Day. This is McGee. Possibilities for Brentford here with Marcus. Bent coming onto a header with the ball just too high for him to make anything of it. Nice ball. Into the feet of Taylor. Smith. Marcus there if required. Smith shoots. I'm not surprised now by the two centre field players involved. I think it was Hutchins that played a super little ball into Taylor at the edge of the box. And then Taylor picked out Smith. They don't close him quick enough. It's well struck, but it picks up pace off the wet top, you know, on the ground. The goalkeeper's not really going across for it. Looks up, spots him really well. Smith is 
He's hung around on the edge of the box most of this first half. Whether it took a touch of David McGee, did it? Well, it looks as it may well have done from that particular angle. Forward. Out comes Fernandez. The ball goes past him. And the referee keeps us waiting for a moment before pointing to the corner. Oh, now McKenzie wondering where the line was, where the ball was, and where his hands were. And we've got a man over here as well if we play it right. Martin, the man over is Harvey. Trying to slide it in, but Keith Day able to intervene, but he's struggling as well. They haven't been blessed by good fortune at the back tonight, Farnborough, having lost Coney. And Day clearly not in full working order. <laughs> Taylor. That's a terrific ball. McGee and McKenzie did enough. Farnborough were reliant on their goalkeeper then. Farnborough haven't been a threat. But here's a chance to change that. Denny. Harlow. They can have plenty of players back. Steve Baker. Robson. Harlow. It's a fine idea. Horton. Baker's cross trim in. Oh, so close from Chris Booth, who probably was surprised that the ball got as far as him. So he can get the ball. And the half time whistle goes. First half interrupted by two serious injuries to Dean Coney and to David McGee. Paul Smith blazed away at goal to aid Brentford to the lead that they certainly deserved. The flick off McGee beating the goalkeeper and at half-time the league side will have the better of things at Cherrywood Road. It's Farnborough nil, Brentford 1. Welcome back, Cherrywood Road tonight for us. Live football from Sky Sports again. FA Cup first round replay between Farnborough and Brentford and it's 1-0 to Brentford at half time. By way of some consolation to Farnborough, there's a few in tonight playing at the turnstiles, 3,581, which is a record for them by some 500. Farnborough will hope for a repeat second half performance from themselves. The best news really for them so far has been that crowd attendance, terrific to uh, break the ground record by such a good percentage. We could restore order to the Farnborough penalty area. Oh, and Steve Baker has given it away. Granger. Taylor stumbled but was able to pick himself up and score a second. He's I think he's surprised he's going to went right through the goalkeeper, Steve McKenzie. He's deserved a goal. You mentioned he's played thoughtfully. He's also played very well tonight. He's led the line really well. Look to play people and look how quickly he gets his feet. Just drags it on the left side. It's a hit and hope shot. I don't think he thinks it's going in. Not sure. The goalkeeper certainly lost his bearings. But sometimes the most difficult ones to deal with are the ones that are right at you, right below your feet. And this is certainly what happened with Steve McKenzie. Drilled straight up. Another slight deflection. This time off one of his defenders. David Webb's right-hand man for a good number of years. Yeah. It's Robson's mistake. And here's Hutchings looking for his first goal for Brentford. <laughs> Refusal to whistle. Booth, that's a good touch. Juria, this is a chance. Well, Farnborough needed that and they didn't get it. And any comfort that David Webb might have been feeling will have gone away again with Farnborough having a chance there. Taylor. Oh, he's done beautifully to lift it beyond step. So <laughs> cup ties when the uh, side training has scored twice in the last 20 minutes. Admittedly, the signs haven't been there for Farnborough. And Brentford have shown no real air of complacency. And they've scored again, Marcus Bent. And Dean Martin has delivered a cross. This time, 
to delight him. And the 17-year-old strikes for the second time over the course of this entire time. Marcus Bent. It's 3-0 to Brentford. Yeah, this is a super cross. I said he'd pulled an awful lot of crosses back and didn't really give his strikers a chance. But this one is delivered to perfection. This is what makes striking easy. When you get a wide man to put a ball there, I tell you what, I could still go out there now and tap that in, even with my right foot. All the credit goes down to Dean Martin. The easy job was Marcus Banks. Tap in at the back post, game, set, match. Again, screening the back four. Super Taylor. Driving on. won the ball, swept it forward, and Robert Taylor did the rest. It was a super ball. Everything that he's produced tonight, Hutchins, he's won the ball from the city. He just knocked it off simple. But such is his confidence now, late in the game, and such is the dominance that he just played that wonderful pass. And Taylor, well, he was very composed. Got it! Steve Baker. Harlow, that's it run for Robson. Well, a non-league team takes exceptional uh, non-league size to progress beyond the first round. Bent, Martin, they're in again. Oh, there we go. Well, that's he's flagging, but he hasn't put his arm across his chest to indicate a penalty, which is the standard signal Mackenzie is spotting the ball for a goal kick Barry Knight who likes to have a think before he lets us know has pointed to the spot consultation with the linesman no of course you're going to do the goalkeeper right? Tamer Fernandez I beg your pardon Stuart Mackenzie who's getting a yellow card a very good night for Brentford but four doesn't become five and if you're going to miss a penalty this is the time to do it not as poor Paul Wilson did for Barnett at Woking last night at 1-1 I can't believe Bob Taylor hasn't got up to him and says hold on a minute I've got two give me a chance to get my hat trick well he's looking less and less like Stuart Pearce Mark <laughs> <laughs> free kick penalty didn't Stuart Pearce miss a penalty last night I don't know score from it yeah <laughs> Taylor, not a hat trick, good save. Bent. may not be finished yet. Here's Hooker. Came on for the unfortunate David McGee. Marcus Bent climbing well. And the goalkeeper right by the post. It stayed out. Headed back by Harvey. May yet be a chance for Taylor to get his hat trick. He tees up Hooker. That's a fine try. Really pulled the trigger on that one. Farnborough losing Dean Coney early on with those torn knee ligaments. And uh, we'll never know quite how much difference that might have made. A stabilizing presence, possibly at the back. Here's Juriev. Harvey played him onside. Juriev, who's had the an impact since coming on. We're just going and the confidence is growing. And they've played some really good football. The second attempt, the second division club through to the second round of the FA Cup. A big win for them, a big night for them after the recent distresses and poor run of results.